And I, and I, I think, you know, po you know Im having a proper immigration policy, controlling the numbers, doing what nearly 200 countries in the world do, namely controlling the numbers that come and the type of people that come, is the answer. Right. Russell Brown. I sometimes feel worried about you, Nigel Farage. I, I, but the, the reason I feel worried is because I, I know a lot of people are frightened in our country. I know a lot of people are feeling afraid and frustrated. And there is a sense that there is a corrupt, corrupt group in our country using our resources, taking away our jobs, taking away our housing, not paying taxes, exploiting us. And there is. There is an economic elite that this man's party is funded by, that this man is the back, comes from background working in the city. Let me tell you something. There was an economic crash and a lot of money was lost. His mates in the city farted. Nigel Farage is pointing at immigrants and the disabled and holding his nose. Immigrants are not causing the economic problems and suffering. <laughs> As any of us, I enjoy seeing Nigel Farage in a boozer with a pint and a fag laughing off his latest scandals about breastfeeding or whatever. I enjoy it. But this man is not a cartoon character. He ain't Del Boy. He ain't Arthur Daly. He is a pound shop Enoch Powell, and we gotta watch him. That's all well and good, and you've got your point of view. The question was, is Britain overcrowded? And, and, and do you think that's wrong? I mean, do, I mean, do, do yes. you not think? Nigel, can I not be do you not think? Do you not think? Do you, you not think? think? Kind of got, this is called question time, this programme, right? Well, what tonight happens, you could have another And what happens is, members of the audience ask questions, and we're expected to answer them. You haven't answered this lady's question. Do you think Britain's overcrowded and there was a strain on public resources and people's quality of life? We need more money for public resources. Well, where's it going to come from? not overcrowded. It's going to come... Oh, I'm so glad you asked, mate. <laughs> uh, since the financial crash, banker bonuses have exceeded uh. £80 billion. Pounds. George Osborne, your <laughs> Chancellor, campaigned to stop caps being placed on banker bonuses at the same time there all, were austerity cuts against the poorest among us, the disabled, people that we need to be looking after. We need to close tax loopholes which are exploited by big corporations. There's money. I've got money now. I've seen rich people. There's plenty of money out there. It's just not being distributed. <laughs> And I don't like people preaching that uh, I am any part responsible for anything. I've never heard him criticise the disabled. Never. OK? Never. OK? And you are a campaigner, yeah? I'm going to go back to the last question. Please let me meeting, finish. Mate. Stand. Stand for Parliament. If you're going to campaign, then stand! OK? OK, you have the media profile for it. Uh, Do it! My problem would be, mate, I'd stand for Parliament, but I'd be scared that I'd become one of them. I, I know what's up. No, no, I'm sorry, I'm I sorry. Know. You full addiction. You full addiction and you've beaten it, OK? You, you can't preach that. That is, that is rubbish. Mate, I You cannot preach that. I'm not preaching. What I'm well, you is... are. You've attacked him, OK? Yeah. OK? And you've attacked I'm... him and you've attacked Everybody that stands for his party, I do. they, I do. they, we're trying. I'm sorry, I'm people they are the... people on the street. Oh, are they? Are they? Are they? Rubbish. Rubbish. I'm sorry, but at the end of the day, it's the general public that are standing for you. Trying to blame immigrants for the carpets because of his rich. You've got some voters here, mate. You want to stand. I mean, they're, right. they're, these are your voters. They're, they're lovely people, aren't they? They're lovely people. Right. I just hear from a voice up here. You, sir, on the gangway.
Yeah. yeah. The point I want to make to Russell is that you, you say you claim to sort of stand up for the working classes, but you've got to understand that it's the working classes that have been hit the hardest by immigration, mass immigration. You know, wage compression, the, ch the, the, the change in communities over, over a short uh, period of time has led to, you know, um, tension in the communities. You've got to appreciate that actually, you know, it's all right to say, you know, criticising UKIP and Nigel Thrive, but actually it's the people at the bottom of society that have been hit the hardest yeah. by immigration. I'm telling you, mate, honestly, I come from the same communities you come from. I've been very lucky and I've had a few breaks and I've got a few quid now. And I'm telling you that... Immigra immigration has always been happening. What happened in 2008 was very unique. If but I it's fought, the scale. If it's I, the scale. my friend, I swear to you, if I thought, listen, try this for two years, turn your focus to corruption in the city, turn your focus to apathetic politicians, turn yourself to the corruptions going on there, and if in two years' time your life ain't got better, campaigning against the people that have wealth and power, not those that have very little, if it's still the same, I'll come with you and campaign. But I'm telling you, I know where the power is, I know where the money is, I know what we've got to do. Uh, we've said we got some things wrong on immigration.